You gotta take risks and not get back. of the free city of Navigrad. Oh. Master Claytop, that would be me, oh of the honor to oh. announce oh. the now where the of the oh. 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 dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has... Abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers, I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No.
can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Siri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot. first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Rain. 
slow now. Whoa. Sorceresses, their debauchery putting whores to shame. Alchemists violating divine. Uh, well, let them cross you around, eh? Look! The corpse-like <laughs> visage, the beastly eyes. This oh, is magic that's made a mongrel of a man. Well, he ain't easy on the eyes. But you do kill monsters, don't you? So washer, and every so often a wyvern will eat a necker, but does that make it good? You'd be so pale if you ate onions and all. You'll not find much oh, to do in the nose, Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant, a freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question, how many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. I say you both die. Ah! Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Huh. Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the porkers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's dying in there where I found him. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. I was just told some brave fool turned up. Thanks. So long. Blood 
it's all sucked out. A lesser vampire. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in.
We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Keridin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Karadin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! This guy's more trouble than the Yakimara. The Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. What the hell are you doing? I can explain everything. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah. See you later. Any trouble at the inn. Hey, old good fellow. Would you be keen on helping me with a very important matter? What do you want? Name's Muggs. Rostin Muggs. Need your help in a grave matter. What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get it back for me. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witcher's lifted a finger without pay. I've a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Might be my last chance. I'm out of ideas if this don't work. No loitering round here. Dwarven moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Muggs was attacked here. Trouble?
You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Hand over the documents, thief. Me? A thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was... mugged. He lost, demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. How much are they worth to you? Well, I don't read myself, but I've seen the seals. I know it ain't no scrap of ass white. I won't sell them to the first fella comes asking. Played cards for them once. Care to play again? Hmm. You're clearly in the middle of a lucky streak. Could very well continue. You might be right. Let's play. Take the damn things. Let none say I ain't an honest man. Gods know I'll only ever say kind things about you. High time you explain some things. Why'd you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, you're fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. As far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean... I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a of Duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs, weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden, murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Carradine? The assassin's leader, and the one to deal the mortal blow. What do you intend to do? I intend to get even with the bastards who did it. Carradine, most of all. We have to talk to Vien. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vien. What do you want? 
We want to see Yad Keridin. <laughs> now why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is it changed. Caradin's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tretigal, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. This Sleaze, where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tretigal, the kind rich men frequent, who will suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Sleaze always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh once he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt's You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solise. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... Do whatever you think's right, Lambert. Not here to preach morals. <laughs> Do what you think is right? Only one thing worse than cold-blooded murder. Hypocrisy. Informers, racist snitches! Vienne, bloody hell, what is it? They've come for me, Farron! I told you someone would, sooner or later! Nessa Ter. Shit. Time to end this. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Solis. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. 
This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. Well, like me Aunt Rosalie always said, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. The documents belong to my employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in a game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. W w what was it to do? I he weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I haven't the gumption to show my face at home. Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. We'd not have it any other way. some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On oh God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow around here. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Don't have time to give you another lesson. Tis I shall give thee the lesson! Yes, but next time... Go back to mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again! What's he doing here? Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, I've had enough of living. What village are you from? Good Will I? Since you have been eating those lines, you see, but... I'll never come back, you stinking scadges! All we wanted was... Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted! Get! Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! Gear out in the nick of time, as always! Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. What? Lost your nerve? That's it, you're in for it! Oh, another trap in. Oh. We're leaving. Yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah, almost like we never left Virgin. Ah, oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of me. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned as you saw. You're expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale? And what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. I've no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It's his planner. Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew... Gives it everything. Not seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Huh. 
Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. So che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A baroness within reach, and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And, <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. <laughs> he didn't get half of it. Called him her stallion once. That's a fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa of our atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Varatra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador. He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. What has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim? I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. 
Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help.